Hi everyone, it's Helen Griffin here and welcome to day 11 of my 12 days of Christmas. So we have one more episode to go after this and then there'll be a bonus. So today we're going to be making this tiny, well not tiny, but it's quite slim paper bag album. So it's made from two white lunch bags with the handles, so we'll take those handles off. And today I'll be showing you how to make the basic album. I won't be decorating it today because I have one decorated here and you can decorate yours however you wish. So I've used my own papers here and I'll be going through everything that I've used today and everything I've used will be linked down below and I've used the wreath die and stamp set as well and so let's have a look inside so this little album will be perfect if you have a larger album and this could slip into one of the pockets or you can use it as a standalone album as well so we have an insert that goes in this pocket here and I've used my sprig dies here and as part of the wreath die set, you get um, pine cones and poncettias and the dice to actually cut those out as well. So these are quite fiddly if you were doing these by hand. So in the centre here, we have two pockets. So as these are made from the top of the paper bags, we get two sections each. So we have some photo mats in there kept to the same colours as the um, the papers that I've used and we have some more details here with the sprigs and the poncettia and pine cones so you can add as many embellishments as you want I do have some um, extra bits that are left over as well I just love this pine cone just love it there right let's get on with showing you what I've used to make everything and then I'll be showing you how to put the album together so I'll pop that aside so first off I'm just grabbing my bits and bobs we have the Winter Collection Wreath Stamp Set. So this did feature in my previous video. And I'll show you how to um, line this up with the dies as well, because it comes to the two set here to cut out the centre. And we have the bow, and then these are the dies here. And one of these dies, I think it's the larger one, will actually individually cut out um, this flower here in the centre. So it's really versatile. Um, stamp and die kit and we also have extra berries here some sentiments and um, we have this curved one here and this curved one here with the leaves so you can actually go around and make your own wreath with these two um, stamps as well so and I just love these little tiny sprigs there as well so there's absolutely so many things that you can do with this um, stamp and die set so that's the stamp and die set so let's get on with the papers I've used the Winter Nights collection. This is Simply Made Crafts, and um, I just absolutely adore these papers. So basically, we're coming to the end of Christmas now, but I've used some of these papers here that are suitable for Christmas. I know that plenty of you guys will have Christmas trees with this sort of colour scheme, so this would be perfect for that. And also, with these birds here and um, these sprigs here and some of the patterns and the flowers it will take you into the end of winter and really early spring as well so this this would be the paper pad to get as you transition out of Christmas and into early spring so this would be perfect for like January February time so let's move that along so let's move on with showing you actually how to make the paper bag album so I have two paper bags here, links for these will be down below and I got mine from Amazon. So first off we're going to start off by taking off these handles, this is um, what I've always done. I've been using these bags for years now on my um, mini albums and they are perfect for experimenting and making different things. So let's pop these off, so just start by ripping them off, sometimes you have to go in a different direction if you get any holes don't worry because we're going to be covering it with paper okay so that's the first one done Let's quickly take this one off as well so are you guys all ready for Christmas I pretty much am it's been about a week since my last video I've been busy with um magazine commission so those are all finished for the year and I will be doing a quick review of the magazines that I've been in this year and how I actually store my magazines so I know a lot of, a lot of people don't know how to store their magazines and, and things so I'll be showing you how I store mine I keep mine for easy quick reference I do I do actually go back to them and read them and look through them so throw those behind me Right, so now we have two of these, so with this section here that flaps up, this is the gusset, the bottom gusset, 
So we are going to actually keep that in the centre and then fold them in half. So use a bone folder as well, just to get the perfect fold. And if you ever had anything like this, don't worry. Um, if it will come off, take it off. If you're worried you might make a hole, you can just glue it down. But we are going to be covering this with paper. So do the same with the other one as well, with the bottom gusset base in the centre. Give that a good burnish down with the bone folder. Right, so now what we're going to do is grab a paper trimmer. I prefer the guillotine types where the blade comes down like so. So the Tim Holtz one is perfect for this because we're going to be cutting through a few layers. So we're going to lift this up here. So we have this edge here. We're going to take this off completely, just a slither. So I'm going to turn it over so it's going in the other direction. I put that in my trimmer here. And then I'm going to take off about a sixteenth of an inch. I'm not lining it up fully so it's straight here. I'm lining up so it's straight down here. Because these are paper bags, it's the nature that they're not going to be straight or square. So just do your best to line it up on the blade side. And then chop that off. And you should have something about that width that you've just cut off. And then we bend that back. So now we have a full pocket, and if you're wondering why I did that, I'll show you on this one. If we were to make this into a pocket, we would only have it up to here, it would stop. But if we use this inside section of the base, which we have here, we can go all the way to this end here. So now we have a larger pocket to use with it, and if you don't want to do that, just glue the sides up here and you'll have a smaller pocket. Let's quickly do the other side. So I'm lining it up on the blade side. There we go. And then we have another pocket. Right, so now what we're going to do is glue our album together. So I'm going to be using Cosmic Shimmer today. So what we're going to be doing is gluing these parts here together. And you don't have to stop with just a two paper album, uh, two paper bags. You can glue two or three together, make it as big as you want. You can either line them up like that and press them together, or you can take one and then pop it over the top of the other one, just lining up the corners. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's all glued together. So I'm just going to make sure that that's all stuck down, so grab your bone folder again everything glued down and that's pretty much it so all you've got to do now is decorate and I will show you a quick trick I'm just going to grab a piece of paper we'll go with this one yeah we'll go with this one and I'm going to grab out my really old and trusty paper trimmer I've had this for over 10 years This particular style of paper trimmer has been reused plenty of times with uh, different brands. So this one was by XCut. I know Stampin' Up! have done one, Tonic have one out, and I think Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz has one in this style as well. So I'm going to cut this to two and three quarters. So the reason why I'm using this long one is because... It's just by my side, and I need to go over to six and seven eighths of an inch. Yep, so that that paper trimmer has done me so well. So if you find that style, do make sure you get yourself one, because that blade has 
kept me going for well over 10 years and I've done an, a lot a lot of crafting on it so right so just to finish the tutorial off I'm going to um, show you how to finish off these pockets here and the rest you are just free to just go ahead and just map the rest of it as well and I would suggest using some card here as well just to stiffen up and give the outside covers a bit of strength so it is quite sturdy so let's finish off this pocket and then you are just free to go and decorate how you wish so we need to glue this part down first so this top section here we are going to glue down completely Down, and then there's a few extra flaps here right so we have this section here so we need to glue this section here so we're only going to be using this back section so let's glue that down just a little bit of glue there and another piece of glue along here and then we have these two triangles that need gluing down as well pop that down and then we'll pop this one down as well there we go and now this last piece here just test it before you glue it and, and try and pop it in. We have, let's see if I can hold this up. We have this section in the middle here. We need to go and have this one at the back. So our piece of paper needs to go in that section there. So that doesn't get caught with anything that we put in our pocket. So I hope that makes sense. And when you're going through this, you'll see what I mean. So we need to make sure that this top piece of... Um, this paper here goes above it before we pop it in and if you have cut your paper a little bit too long you can just trim it down but that fits in really well it does show through here but we're going to be matting that side and that's going to go in like that and then we're going to glue that down and then we just do out the rest of our mats add our pockets you can do double cards that fold over that pop in here you can add um, tabs and things just so it um it just looks nice with tabs i'd say i love tabs on there with mini albums and pockets and then before you add your front cover make sure you add your ribbon so let's grab the ribbon that i've used here it is i've used it from the same range this is from the winter nights collection as well so pop that on and use a lighter just to um stop the ends from fraying as well okay so that's today's tutorial oh I forgot to say how I coloured in my wreath I've got new pencils here we go here are my pencils these are from Artesia if that's how you uh, pronounce it so these are some I'm actually really impressed with these I've been using these for quite a while now and this did appear in my um, latest craft stash haul so these are actually from Amazon so this one I've used let's have a quick look see if I can get into focus I've used silver heat embossing and then I've colored it in with the pencils so make sure a top tip here is to make sure your color pencils are nice and sharp so make, so make sure you have um, a pencil sharpener and then you can go into all the corners so I've avoided using alcohol pens with heat embossed areas because um, the heat embossed areas can actually ruin the nibs on your alcohol pens so I try as much as I can not to use alcohol pens with um, heat embossed air stamped areas and images so I always go for um, Versafine if I'm using alcohol pens for colouring in and then if I do have um, heat embossed areas, these pencils are absolutely perfect and you get some really good colours with it too. These are nice and waxy. So that's today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. All the links will be down below for everything that I've used today. And um, yeah, I think Craft Stash is still having some of their sales on as well. So check that out, guys. So make sure you don't miss any of those. And um, yeah, I'll see you again for day 12 very soon.